Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing another review. Today I'll be reviewing SH Figure Arts Common Rider Super One. Common Rider Super One comes from the 1980 show Common Rider Super One. Kazuya Oki volunteers to undergo cybernetic surgery for the International Space Development Program. The mission of the surgery is to become the first astronaut that can survive in outer space without the need of a space suit. After a successful surgery, Kazuya Oki is given the codename Super One. Before Kazuya can venture into space, his base is attacked by the evil Dogma Kingdom. Kazuya is the only one to escape the attack and vows to avenge those who lost their lives. With the martial arts knowledge given to Kazuya by Master Genkai, Kazuya is able to transform the powerful Kamen Rider Super One. So, if you have not done so already, definitely take a look at the 1980 show Kamen Rider Super One. It is simply fantastic. But nonetheless, SH Fig Arts Kamen Rider Super One is another fantastic release in the Fig Arts line. Kamen Rider Super One has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. So, first, let's take a look at Kamen Rider Super One's accessories. Kamen Rider Super One comes with a pair of chopping hands, a pair of open hands, a set of signature pose hands, a pair of holding hands, one sword, one dynamic scarf, a pair of dynamic tassels, a pair of radar hands, a pair of elect hands, a pair of thermal hands, a pair of power hands, and a pair of open power hands. So first let's take a look at the chopping hands. The chopping hands have a fantastic sculpt with fantastic paint apps going on, a very nice metallic silver and a very nice glove like appearance, definitely very cool, very nicely done here. The next pair of hands are the open hands. Same great sculpt, same great pamps going on, very nicely done. The next set of hands are the signature pose hands here. Again, same great sculpt, same great pamps going on, very nicely done. Then the other pair, again, same great sculpt, same great pamps going on, so very nice. Then the final pair of hands are the holding hands, again, same great sculpt, same great pamps going on, so very nicely done. Hi, it's attached here, our ball joint peg systems, we'll grab our figure here. We'll zoom out some. All I have to do is swap the fist out like so. So pop that right on off. Put on our new hand. And now, so we can get that all in the place. See that? That should be it. Now you notice the ball joint pick wants to move around, so do be careful with that. Let's see if we can focus that a lot better. Because it's really concerning. You don't want to break off the ball joint peg and the wrist. So we'll try that yet again and add even pressure. And there we have it. So definitely very cool. The next accessory is the sword. It's absolutely fantastic here. A very nice metallic silver for the blade part and a very nice flat black matte finish for the handle here. So very nicely done. It is held very well by the holding hand here. So I'll grab our figure yet again. All I have to do, push it right down in there. And that is a firm and snug fit. So let's not go anywhere. So very nice there. The next accessory is the dynamic scarf. It is absolutely fantastic and absolutely mandatory for all of our Kamen Rider figures here. Very nice folds and creases, a very nice vibrant red. To attach this, we'll grab our figure yet again. Pop off the standard scarf here like so. Pop that right on off. Then peg that back into the hole in the back of the neck. We'll focus that some. Pretty simple. And like so, we have it. So now, Kamen Rider Super 1 is dynamic in the wind. Definitely very cool. They really enjoy these scarves. Very nice. The next accessory is the pair of dynamic tassels. These are very nicely done as well. A very nice metallic silver going on. A very nice sculpt indeed. Very dynamic here. Now, as it pertains to the tassels on this figure, they are kind of a headache because they fall out very, very, very easily. So, when posing this figure with the tassels, you kind of want to put the figure in its initial pose first, then attach the tassels last because they will fall out constantly. So, to attach these, we'll grab our figure again. I've already pulled out the standard tassels. You just got to slot this in like so, and it's um, pretty simple, but it just doesn't stay like it should. So, we'll slot that in right there. Now, it feels pretty firm in place, but once you move this around quite a bit, we'll just kind of... You see, that's not a lot of effort to knock that out, so... These are kind of finicky, and that's the only hiccup with this figure I can find is just these tassels are just way too loose for their own good. Maybe they should have just straight up pegged in or something, but still very cool. The next accessory are the pair of radar hands. The radar hands are very nicely done here. An absolutely fantastic sculpt, a fantastic panel swing on, as you can see. Very nicely detailed here, especially for the missile part here. Definitely very cool. You can actually detach the missile too, as you can see. Very nice. Now, I must admit, this is absolutely tiny, so it's begging to be lost, so do try to keep up with this, but still, very nicely detailed sculpt, a very nice metallic gold going on, a very nice look like appearance, definitely very cool here. The next pair of hands are the elect hands. 
absolutely fantastic. A very nice vibrant blue. A very nice gold going on in the upper hand here. Absolutely fantastic and definitely show accurate. The next pair of hands are the thermal hands. So each hand is different. The hand on the left is the cryo spray hand and the hand on the right is the flamethrower hand. Each is unique and different, has a very nice sculpt going on, so very nicely done here. Then the final pair of hands are the power hands. They are absolutely fantastic and very nicely done again. Very nice vibrant red, very nice sculpt going on for the rest of the hand, definitely very cool. Now, how these attach is somewhat tough. What we're gonna have to do, we'll grab our figure yet again, we're gonna get this sword out of here. We have to actually pull off the forearm on this figure. And it's kind of strange, they call them hands, but we're removing the forearm, so we'll go ahead and attempt this. Now, first and foremost, what I recommend you do, take the figure's head and turn it away. That way you don't risk breaking these antennas. So first, what we're gonna do, at the forearm here, gotta pull it off, and it is very tough to get off, so kind of bear with me as I try, because it's very, very hard to do. But you gotta work your way down. It pops up like so, you can see it's pretty hard. Also, make sure this part is pushed up all the way into the elbow, because otherwise the hands will not adhere clearly. So we'll grab our power hand here, kind of lost track there, and peg that right on in, so we'll try to get this at a better angle. And again, be mindful of the figure's head, you don't wanna break off the antenna, and plus all that force, you don't wanna sling back and break anything, so. We'll push that on, we'll focus that too. And again, just be extra careful because there's just a lot of force and effort going on that really concerns me and I might break my figure. So let's we'll see if we can peg that in as best we can. Let's see. Very tough here, as you can see, and I'm trying not to harm any other part of the figure. So we'll get that on. Let's get that out the way. Very, very tough, as you can see. Again, this is just something that might pop up when you have this figure, so we'll see if we can get that on as best we possibly can. So, I think that's as good as it gets, but still, very cool, very tough to put on, but once it's on, it looks absolutely fantastic here. Very nicely done. The final accessory is the pair of open power hands. Again, same great sculpt, same great pimps going on, very nicely done here, pretty simple. Now has attached via the ball joint peg system. So what we do, we'll grab our figure yet again for a new power hand here. Pop that right on off as standard. And like so, we'll grab our new hand, pop that on. Notice the ball joint peg on this is actually fairly loose. So we can focus that. So do be careful with this. So we'll put on our new hand and be careful. Try not to lose our arm either. And see there we have it so now we can crush things whoops that popped right on off so definitely very cool there we're trying to peg that right back on and i'll show you what i'm talking about this piece here you can see the part of the elbow kind of slides back and forth so make sure that's up all the way otherwise the hands will not clear the figure so we'll push that up as far as we possibly can getting tough there we go okay so we have that now we'll try and reattach our power hand. So we'll peg that in once again while trying to be careful. So let's see what we can do. Tough, tough, tough. Hmm. Oh no. Pop the head off there. We won't worry about that. And there we go. Finally have it. Let's go ahead and put Super One's head back on. Put that in place. There we have it. So now we have an absolutely official Kamen Rider Super 1 with his power hand attached. So definitely very cool there. It can be tough, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it. So, now we have Kamen Rider Super 1's accessories out of the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Kamen Rider Super 1 figure itself. Kamen Rider Super 1 has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first, let's start with the head. So we can look left, we can look right, very high up, very far down. Nice rotation going on the shoulder joint. 360 rotation going on for the arms. We'll spin that all the way around. Arms come out 90 degrees. We have an upper bicep swivel going on. We have a forearm swivel going on. Very nice double jointed elbows. The fists are on ball joint pegs. So we can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest, we can lean backwards and forwards significantly and twist side to side. In the lower waist, we can lean backwards and forwards significantly for a nice ab crunch, twist side to side, and lean side to side. So definitely very cool. We'll focus that a little bit. 
Moving down to the legs, we get forward about this much initially. If we pull down the hip joint, we can extend the range of motion significantly and kick up this high. Very nice, double jointed knees, as you can see. The feet tilt and swivel, and the toes are articulated. So we have a very nice Common Rider Super 1 figure here that is hyper articulated, so it's definitely very cool. In terms of sculpt and paint apps, this is absolutely fantastic and definitely show accurate here. First for the eyes, we have very nice perforated compound eyes, so we'll focus that. Very nicely done there. We have a very nice metallic silver, a black matte finish on the other elements of the body. Definitely very cool. The sculpt is very, very nice, you can see. Very nice switch detail going on for the belt here. The front of the belt is pretty plain, but the switches are very cool. Nice zipper accents for the boots. This is absolutely fantastic. You get the sense we're wearing a true leather suit. So this is very nicely done. We'll focus that a little bit better. Absolutely fantastic. A very nice representation of Kamen Rider Super 1. So, now we have the Kamen Rider Super 1 figure out of the way. Let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Super 1 is another fantastic release in the Figure Arts line. Kamen Rider Super 1 has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, if you have not done so already, definitely take a look at the 1980 show Kamen Rider Super 1. It is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.